the importance of fossils. Narrators, myself, Mr. Mendoza, second grade teacher. Scientists look at many kinds of data to try to piece together the evidence of the evolution of organisms. They look at fossils, structures of organisms, genetic information, location of organisms on Earth. Fossils. Fossils are preserved remains or traces of an organism that lived in the past. Fossils give clues about past living things in Earth's history, the past climate, surface changes on Earth, and events from Earth's past. Scientists can use rock layers to determine how old fossils are and vice versa. Fossil evidence. A series of related fossils found in different layers can show how organisms changed over time or evolved. And exa for example, land mammals and whales, how they changed. Dinosaurs and birds, how they changed. Fossils. Fossils are usually found in sedimentary rocks. When an organism it's a type of a rock. There are three different types of rocks. One is sedimentary. When an organism dies, its soft parts often decay quickly, leaving only the hard parts to fossilize. An example of some of these hard parts to fossilize are bones, shells, teeth, or seeds. Pretty interesting fossil there. It's the entire remains. I wonder if they found it like this, or did they find it in parts? Because a lot of Scientists, they find sometimes a jaw or a tooth, and who knows, they may have found the entire fossil. Fossil record is evidence that shows us that today's organisms descended from a common ancestor. It shows us how living things have changed over time. Here are the first types of animals. Baryotherium, Morithorium. Then, what do they look like? Those look like some type of a pig. Then, many years after that, keep going, and the African elephant. Fossil record. Layers of sedimentary rock contain fossils. New layers cover older ones, creating a record over time. Fossils within layers show that a succession of organisms have populated Earth throughout a long period of time. Beautiful. Fossils are some kind of a bug, maybe. Huh? That looks like a bird. That can walk? Huh? Two long legs? Evolution of birds. Archaeopteryx lived about 150, 150 million years ago. It, link, it is linked to reptiles and birds. Theory takes flight. A computer analysis of skull specimens from the bird like dinosaur, Archaeopteryx, indicates the creature was a skillful flyer according to a study in the journal Nature. Wingspan was 19 inches, 19.6 inches. Its weight was 12 ounces. That's a pretty small bird, actually. It looked like a big bird, but 12 ounces, it's not much. Modern flying bird. Here's the brain. There's a brain right there. Archaeopetrix was right there. So it's about the same size. It's different teeth on it. Ooh, what does that look like? Hmm. It looks like the skeleton of an alligator but without the hard shell on it or scales. Where are the transitional fossils? Here's a land mammal. Basilosaurus. Mysocetus. Odontocetus. These all look like whales. 2006 fossil discovery of early tetrapod. Mm -hmm. Take the Alec missing link from sea to land animals. Again, kind of looks like an alligator or crocodile. Different types of fossils. Mold, cast, petrified means some metal. They, be, they became metallic of some sort. Preserved body fossils, carbonized and trace. Types of fossils. Oh, that's a huge fossil. Those are just in rock. Looks like a petrified one. Oh, that looks like petrified wood. 
that was in some kind of a honey syrup, rock, shells. Mold fossils. Mold fossils form when sediments are bury, bury an organism and sediments change into rock. The organism decays and leaves behind a cavity in the shape of the organism. An organism is, a, is some kind of an animal. For those of you wondering what organism is. Cast fossils. A cast fossil forms when a mold is filled with sand or mud that hardens into the shape of the organism. It looks like fecal matter. In other words, for those in first and second grade, you understand it's poop. It's a shell. Petrified fossils. Petrified fossils form when minerals soak into the buried remains of an organism, usually plants or trees, and changes them into rock. Look. This looks like a piece of wood. Now it's stone or rock. The Petrified Forest National Park. It's in the United States, somewhere in the United States. All these pieces of wood have become metal. Preserved fossils. Preserved fossils form when entire organisms or parts of an organism, parts of organisms are prevented from decaying by being trapped in rock, ice, tar, or amber. Hmm. Looks like some kind of a person. Looks like a baby elephant. Or who knows, maybe a big elephant. And do you remember this? Or have you read of this? It's about the Bray Tarpet in Los Angeles. Trace fossils. Trace fossils form when mud or sand hardens to stone where a footprint, trail, nest, hive, or burrow of an organism was left behind. Carbonized fossil. An extremely thin coating of carbon on rock that forms a material that make up an organism become gases and escape leaving only carbon behind. And that is that. Just a little bit about fossils.